<laughs> July 20th, 1969. It's one of those days that we all remember exactly what we were doing if we were around back then. And this Saturday marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission, the first U.S. moon landing. It turns out some folks in Corpus Christi have ties to that mission. Our Madeline Dart explains. What's now a place for sporting events and having fun used to make Corpus Christi's connection that was out of this world. That one's been in space. This one's been around the moon. Stephen Benning points out his mom and dad's accomplishments, helping space shuttles orbit the Earth and even land on the moon. We didn't realize it was that cool. <laughs> Benning said growing up, he never realized the extent of his parents' work, especially his father's role in the Apollo mission, making sure the shuttles stayed on track. We'd have show and tell. And, you know, they'd have this toy or that ever, and I was bringing in skins from the Echo 1 rocket. After several moves, the Benning family ended up in Corpus Christi, where his parents worked at the tracking station, which eventually became Bill Witt Park. It had a couple of hangars, had satellites out away from the hangars. Aerospace engineer Vaughn Hunter explains how tracking stations and the Apollo mission not only changed space exploration, but also the technology we have today. Amazing how fast they pushed the technology. They had 100,000 people working on it. Your cell phone has about... Um, 300,000 times the computing power of what they had on the Apollo. Hunter working on engines similar to those on space shuttles. People just don't appreciate how much our society has benefited from the work that they've done and what spins out. Hunter says the future of space travel is bright, all thanks to President Kennedy and the people who worked hard to make that giant leap for mankind possible. We go to the moon because we choose to go to the moon. That was his words and everybody said, I'm going to help with that. Hunter says thanks to all these advances in technology, commercial space travel is not far away. Madeline Dart, 3 News.